Welcome to an introduction to the updated version of RecordSeek.com. The purpose of the RecordSeek program is to create and move source citations from third-party sources on other websites into FamilySearch.org and Ancestry.com. The RecordSeek program is a free downloadable uh, app or program called a bookmarklet. The bookmarklet is a program that's installed in your bookmark or toolbar of your browser, such as Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer. A browser is a program used to view websites on the Internet. This program resides on your computer, not on the Internet, so you will have one or more browsers on your program. If you own a Windows computer, it's likely that you have Internet Explorer. If you have a Macintosh computer, it's likely that you have Safari. You can also add the free browsers Chrome or Firefox to either a Macintosh program or a Macintosh computer or a uh, Windows computer. RecordSeek.com is the website where the application or program is available. The program used to use the name TreeConnect. They've discontinued referring to the product as TreeConnect. But if you have a link on your computer uh, to the uh, TreeConnect, it will still work with the updated program. You install the program by dragging the green icon that appears on the recordseek.com uh, startup page up to your browser bar. Here's an example with the Chrome browser. If you look carefully, you can see where RecordSeek is there along with other links on this particular uh, browser bar. The purpose, as I mentioned, of the program is to cite and transfer sources. So, for example, let's suppose I find a source concerning one of my ancestors in MyHeritage.com. The first step would be to look at the ancestors record in Family Search or in Ancestry to, to see if the source has already been added. In this case, I don't see the source yet. You could use the copy and paste function of your computer to create a new source in either Family Search Family Tree or in Ancestry in your Ancestry.com family tree. This is a pretty complex and uh, time-consuming uh, way to, to transfer the information. But RecordSeq is much more efficient. If you have installed RecordSeq, just click on the link in your browser bar. When you click on the link, a dialog box appears, and the idea here is to choose whether you want to add the source to Family Search or to Ancestry.com. If you wanted to add it to both, you would have to either transfer the the source from Family Search to Ancestry, or from Ancestry to Family Search, or come back and go through this process a second time with the with the other program. Clicking on the the uh, one of the two logos in this case Family Search will open the Record Seek bookmarklet. You'll need to have an account with either or both of the programs involved. If you don't have an account, then the program simply does not link up to the other to uh, to either of the programs, to either Family Search or Ancestry. When you click on the FamilySearch.org uh, logo, you get 
a dialog box asking you to sign in to FamilySearch. By the way, this will require you to sign in to FamilySearch even if you have already signed in to FamilySearch and have the program open on your computer. You'll then get a copy of the screen where the program, RecordSeq, has automatically copied the details from the uh, source. In this case, the source I had open in MyHeritage. In addition, if you wish to, you can highlight any information in the original source. You don't copy it, you just highlight the information and RecordSeq will then automatically add the highlighted information to the notes section. The next step, when cl you click the next button and the next step asks you to identify the person in FamilySearch.org or Ancestry that you wish to attach the source, to whom you wish to attach the source. I suggest that you go to Family Search or Ancestry and verify the name and also, in the case of Family Search, the personal identification number of the person. It's much easier just to copy the personal identification number and paste it into the um, blank provided by RecordSeq than to try and find the person, especially if you have a lot of people with the same name. Then, once you've entered the information, you click Next to attach the source to the person. You need to make sure that you've selected the right ancestor. Uh, there may be people with the same name, and you need to check that you have the right parents and spouses and other things. You are also able to add a reason for attaching the source to um, to Family Search Family Tree. The source has now been attached to the ancestor in the Family Search Family Tree. If you were doing this with Ancestry, it would also show up in the Ancestry's list of sources for that individual. You can go back to Family Search Family Tree to check to see that the source is actually there. By the way, with Family Search Family Tree, you may have to reload the page to see the changes. This is true if you have had the program open uh, during the time that, and the page open during the time that you have been adding the source through RecordSeq. Once you reload the page, then uh, the source should appear. If you click on the link in Family Search Family Tree, you will see the content of the citation that has been created by RecordSeq with a link back to the original source on myheritage.com. Thanks for watching.